And we're gonna take a look at this particular problem. Now this is obviously solvable, but I'm not really here to solve for X in this case. So we're doing a little bit of an introduction here with middle school math and introducing you to what the terms actually mean. So if we're taking a look at what is called a variable, a variable is something that we don't know what it is. And so we use letters to describe those. So anytime you see a letter in a situation, this is considered a variable. So anytime you see any letter at all, these are variables. Now, if I'm looking at what the next word is, the next word is that number that's in front of it, the three. That is what's called a coefficient. I'm going to write this around here. So I'm going to put a box around this so you can kind of see. So anytime we have something that is a number in front of a variable, it is called a coefficient efficient. And so that is how we spell it. And that's what it is when we're looking at it. Now, obviously, at the end of any equation, it has an answer with it. Right, that's just your answer. So that's not anything exciting. Now, the next thing that we have here is that this two, right, this is something that we're looking at that kind of is similar to that eight, right? It doesn't have any variable next to it. But that is what's called a constant. So that means that no matter what in this situation is happening, that's always going to be there. So I want you to think about this what's called a constant. This is your vocabulary lesson for the day. When we're looking at something, if I was to just give you an example of something, I might say that it might cost me $2 no matter what. That's when I'm going into the store. I'm going to be spending $2 because I have to get this one particular thing and it cost me $2. And then if I wanted to buy a few other things, I don't know how many I'm gonna walk around and buy, but I know that it might be $3 each item. So you have the coefficient is that number that represents like the price of something. And then the X is how many of those items am I planning on buying? Maybe I have $8 in my pocket and I know that I must buy something that is costing me $2. So that is like, a non-negotiable thing. And that is kind of where we are at as far as when we're looking at things in algebraic equations. And if you want more questions like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at You Want Algebra. All of these are gonna be located in the Are You Ready for Middle School Math section.